Hi! In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create the beautiful marble floor tiles material in minutes. Let's build this floor tiles material together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We are using the Porta Santa Marble SBS AR from the Adobe Substance 3D Assets website. To get it you need a subscription or points. Any marble works, even the default one included with Sampler. Drag and drop it into the layer stack for the basic material. I always change the random seed, instead of just using the default version. To tweak the tiling in the viewport we click on the tiling button and adjust it. We increase the crystal color variation and saturation slightly for stronger colors. For more small crystal details we push the medium and small crystal density and increase the white cracks density to get more cracks. Let's further bring down the cracks and impact intensity to minus 1. Now it's a good moment to rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. Sometimes while working on a material we need to tweak the displacement in the viewport. It really depends on the complexity of our material setup. To adjust the height of the displacement use the displacement button and tweak the height scale. For the tile structure we add a floor tiles filter by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in floor and choosing floor tiles. We can make use of various controls to tweak the surface details. For this 2 material example we adjust the number of materials to 2. Now we can drag and drop another instance of the Porta Santa marble material. This gives us more control over the variation. We choose the third preset. Change the random seed to see the difference between the materials better and get rid of the cracks and impacts. You can customize it further if you want to get a bigger difference between both materials. Let's start to tweak the floor tile settings by decreasing the material scale to get a more accurate scale. Now we change the floor pattern to diamonds tiles and activate the rotate additional pattern button. Then we choose a nice golden color and switch to the bevel thin profile. Under H we get rid of the random rotation and decrease the dirt slightly for a cleaner look. To tweak the normal and height we use a normal height adjustment filter. We activate height to use the full 0 to 1 range as you can see in the 2D view. Like earlier now we tweak the displacement height scale to 0.002. Right now our material has no AO information. There's a handy filter called Height to AO that generates an AO map from your height map. Let's switch to Height and Normal mode, change the distribution to Uniform and then decrease the intensity to get a nice result. To make the marble surface roughness variation less intense we use the Channel Switch filter. With this filter we can switch or blend between the maps we have. As input channel we choose metallic, as our output channel we use roughness. Let's switch the blending mode to multiply because we want to take the uniform dark areas of the metallic map to make the marble roughness areas more uniform and cleaner. Then we tweak the opacity. To check the result in different lighting conditions we can choose between several different environment lights. Because this is an indoor surface, let's choose an indoor environment light. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SBS AR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.